What's up guys, this is Jeff. So today we're gonna do this video upon request from Guido. He requested that um, I make a video about radiation fallout from the Fukushima Daiichi uh, nuclear uh, disaster that happened in 2011 after the uh, tsunami. So just a quick background on the Fukushima Daiichi uh, power plant. Um, it was damaged significantly during the after in the following days of the tsunami, and some of that radiation contamination uh, leaked into the ocean and has, according to researchers, scientists uh, with various different nonprofits, governments, is still leaking into the ocean. So over time. I'm not a nuclear physicist and I'm not a, a nuclear scientist and nor do I research this and claim to be an expert whatsoever. I've just had people come to me, um, mostly from other places and ask me, how's the radiation here in Hawaii? I mean, am I, uh, am I, am I eating the fish? Am I taking my iodine pills? Um, stuff like that. Now this isn't to downplay, um, nuclear fallout or radiation because I don't know enough about this subject to understand what high levels of radiation in the water would do to an ecosystem or would do to human populations. I mean, it's speculated that it causes, uh, it poisons um, fisheries, ecosystems, causes health problems for humans, uh, radiation in the soil, air, drinking water, food supply, what kind of long-term effects that's going to have on um, the, the, the Pacific Islands, including Hawaii, and even the west coast of the United States. So, we'll just take it all the way back to 2011. Big deal. Everyone was up in arms about it. Three years goes by, 2014. Hawaii News Now posts an article talking about how um, in two to three years, the plume, the center of the plume that's leaving Japan and coming around would reach the United States West Coast. And then in that time, it would come down here and start affecting Hawaii. Well, in 2014, it is now 2017. That would make it three years after that article was posted. And I'll just read to you some of what they said in that article and then we'll review the events. Um, scientists have revealed the results of a comprehensive study relating to the levels of radiation in the Pacific Ocean as a result of the Fukush Fukushima nuclear dis disaster. As it relates to why the findings were positive. So far we're not seeing isotopes of cesium on the beaches here at all, said Ken Busler of the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. Not only have there been measurable amounts of celsium-134 in Hawaii, but when it finally does arrive, Busler said, it will be later than when it hits the U.S. West Coast and in much smaller amounts. So he's saying that the center of the plume uh, will affect the West Coast of the United States and bypass Hawaii because of uh, jet streams or ocean currents, whatever pushes it north and then around. A thousand miles north of here is the core of the plume. So it's not going to make it back to Hawaii until it reaches the U.S. West Coast and returns to the flow, which is what I just discussed based on what he had said, where it slowly kind of spreads out as part of a dispersion process, he explained. He said the radiation isn't expected in Hawaii for two to three years. As I mentioned, this was written in 2014. It's 2017. Uh, uh, what, March 1st, 2017 right now. Certain bluefin tuna harvested off the waters of San Diego measured for radiation. So, fast forwarding three years based on this uh, uh, prediction, I mean, it's business as usual here. I, we don't have mass die-offs on our beaches, you know, I, I, I'm not saying they couldn't happen, but we're not seeing any sort of abnormal activity in the water that would indicate that radiation is affecting the ecosystem. I mean, coral is not dying more or less. Uh, fish are not dying more or less than they ever have before. According to what I've seen, the turtle population is health, the healthiest I've seen it. The dolphin population appears to be healthy. But 
because I'm not going to jump the gun and say that we're out of the woods with this because I don't know enough about how Celsium-134 or these isotopes from the, uh, the radiation spread. I mean, is it leaking into the ocean? By all accounts, the research, the scientists say it is. But we haven't, the world, the earth has never seen anything like this really where a nuclear power plant was built on the ocean and then leaks uran or, uh, uranium or plutonium, I don't know what the uh, nuclear component is, but where the contaminated water just leaks into the, the oceans. So we don't really know what would happen. Um, there is another study that we took a look at, uh, kind of from 2011 where they made predictions and they said also that the U S the U S West coast should already have been seeing, uh, contaminated tuna and fish populations that is now being consumed by American consumers. So in, ter in terms of how it affects everyday life, living in Hawaii and dealing with Fukushima Daiichi, uh, radiation poisoning, from my experience, I have not seen anything that would indicate that the radiation is slowly but surely killing us. I mean, out over here on the Big Island in particular, it seems like the number one thing that is unique to this place outside of dengue fever because there was something with dengue fever about last year um people have said that people with asthma and copd have issues with their breathing because of the vog the volcanic smog but never does it ever come up among the locals really where they talk about hey you shouldn't eat that meat because that fish might be contaminated with uh, radiation um so this kind of stuff just never happens here in Kona at least and I go fishing with I've gone deep sea fishing and I've hung out with all the fishermen and they never once make a big deal about it talk about getting sick nothing like that so like I said I mean and I swim under the water and I've swam under the water many times I, I mean you can watch my videos you've seen I swim right with the dolphins they look healthy as can be and the whales even the whales that come down here they're still coming and they're coming more than they ever have according to a lot of people you know, this, this whale season off Maui was one of the most abundant whale populations they had um, seen in a long time, is what a lot of people were saying. And I even went up to Kohala to see the whales, and I saw at least 10 to 15 just very just spread out all across the ocean. So, uh, I have no reason to say that you should stress out about Fukushima Daiichi, but that does not mean that the fallout is not something that you should be aware of. So anyways, this is a short video, just giving you a little bit of insight. If you have any issues with my comments about Fukushima Daiichi and the radiation fallout, please remember I said I'm not an expert. I'm answering this question as to how the general population of people is responding to the Fukushima uh, radiation fallout in regards to what was projected, predicted, and what is really occurring in the ocean and around the, the, the islands. Thank you.